What's up, chickies? It's Baron here. Today, we're going to be talking about the Banu Merchman and some progress that they're making. Obviously, it's making its way through White Box and it's actually making some pretty good progress. So, we know they're putting a brig on there, they're working on the interiors, they're also working on engineering right now. So, this is what they want it to look like. Um, that's pretty much the way they want it to look at the moment. That's, you know, what they had at concept. And it's going to look like that. They've opened up their space a little bit now. Each time we hear about this ship, I seem to get the impression that they are making this thing bigger because they keep talking about opening up the ship and making the some of the rooms bigger. So that's pretty interesting. But to go off of like some of the stuff I've been seeing, it's probably going to stay the same size. It'll probably be 231, 237 meters long, which is freaking massive, obviously. But at the same time, it's going to be pretty interesting because they're going to put the brig at the front of the ship as they have mentioned in some of their ISCs and whatnot if you've been watching them or keeping up to date with them and as Jared has said that they have you know opened up some of the rooms they're playing around with it obviously because the ship has got such a massive following behind it and it, it needs to meet people's standards it, it's going to be that ship where we're going to be pretty happy with it and even Jared said it's we're going to be pretty blown away with the progress that they've made on it and just some of the like things have changed as well. So we know that this ship is going to be pretty crazy. But in terms of functionality, we do know we're getting shops as well. Not too long. Uh, we're getting vendors and whatnot. So hopefully that opens up a new point on this ship um, along the track somewhere. So as I know you guys don't like the bright light or the bright white. I've been trying to get this to dark, but I don't know where to do it. So as you can see... And they're sort of working on the brig right now and it's got three prison like three cells on it it's gonna be good to have this as well because obviously being such a large ship you'll be able to do bounty hunt bounty hunting in it so that in itself is going to be a really great um uh, addition to this ship as well as it being the ship that everyone has ever wanted it to be because talking about this ship gets a lot of people excited and i keep bringing this up but I feel like people are taking what people like what CIG has said the wrong way. Now, obviously, there's a point where this ship is gonna be—I I don't know what you would call it. It's gonna be—it's probably gonna be an unbeatable ship, and I don't mean that as in saying it's unbeatable, unbeatable. But this ship is gonna be a, a different sort of ship that they're gonna bring to the game. This is gonna change everything. A star citizen and that's what people don't know like don't realize is that yeah this ship is going to be really awesome but it's also going to change a lot of standards for ships that are going to be coming down the track i know you guys probably wanted a deep dive today but this is what i'm going to do deep dives will be come come like every sort of other day during the content sort of reel that i do but having this coming in and the way they're working on it they were talking about some of these ladders here and the stairs were actually a little bit narrow so they've opened these up as well as some of this area as well just to make it feel a little bit bigger um, it doesn't look big on scaled when you're looking at it through an image but I'm gonna guess when you're actually in there it's gonna be massively like opened up and it's just gonna feel like a massive room now they did also say that the turret that sits at the top of the ship now there is a turret which is open up to all the ships decks um, that's gonna sort of suck you up into the turret but at the same time it's going to sort of give you a feeling of how open the ship is and just how incredible it's going to feel once you're actually in it. So take that with a grain of salt. I know this is pretty pretty light on what I'm going to give you today, but I want to see what you think about the Banu Merchantman because the, from the concept up that we have seen, this thing is going to be incredible. We knew it was going to be incredible before they made these changes, but just the engineering room. Look at the engineering room and the detail that's going to go into that. Just remember that and know that they're going to go full out on this ship. Like, look at the bridge. Look at that. Just the three seats there. You got these seats back here. You got the Suli there as well. The Banu. Oh, man. It's just going to be incredible to see this thing. So, I'm going to keep up with the progress on this ship on the development side of things. And as it passes through white box into grey box. So, I'm going to be get bringing you guys all the latest information on this ship. I'm going to try and keep you up to date with it. And I'm going to try and do it with every other ship as well. But because it's just one of the things I want to do now is keep you guys up to date. And bring these ships to you as they come. And just let you feel the, the embrace of these ships like the Banu Merchantman is going to be insane so 
when it comes to those size eights on it as well, I've just learned, well, I'd learned before, but this uh, Javelin's weapons are now four size nines per mount, so that's insane. Um, but they said the turret on this that is at the top, I think it is, that comes out the fin, it's going to have really big guns on it, which is incredible. It's going to be awesome. I'm going to also keep my eye on the ship page for that. I don't think I'm going to update it anytime soon until it actually comes out. So hopefully they do that soon. I'm really looking forward to what they're going to have to do with this ship. I know you guys are, and I'm going to keep you up to date with it. I'm going to do all the research I can on this. And if you want to know more about this ship, don't forget about the Merchant Man Deep Dive 2.0. It's been Baron. I'll see you in the verse.